Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipAdger.com, here to bring you part one in my Throwback Thursday series on my float tapes. To set the stage, kind of backing up in time, basically late summer 2001. I was with Bravo Company 1-1 and down there at Camp Horno, newly promoted sergeant, basically a squad leader in a line company. And we had just finished our workup, getting ready to go on float. And I was like, you know what? I want to make some, I want to basically make a float video. Granted back then, like it wasn't just everyone with cell phones, taking pictures, taking video or anything like that. I actually had a old Sony Handycam with the little mini DV tapes and I basically set out to make a float video. My dad used to be a photographer for both Surfer and Surfing Magazine back in the day when there was a serious barrier for entry. Like one, it's not digital like manual everything, manual focus, like motor drives on your camera body. On top of that, yeah, you get like 24 frames and then you need to swim in, change out film. And water housings were crazy, like cost prohibitive. So him being a surfer and also shaping surfboards, he was really good at fiberglass. He'd make it his own water housings because I now had this camera and I want to get much cool footage like from the water. He ended up making the water housing. When your market set go, this is testing for Ivan's camera to be put in. Let's see, where's the water housing? <laughs> oh, it's in my lap. I guess that's pretty wide angle. So that's it, bro. That's where it starts. That's the beginning. And I put my bolts in the wrong place man i gotta drill a hole like so close it's like ridiculous but i think i'm gonna be able to pull it off without making a whole new box or grinding those bolts off so that's it late per the way the deployment was scheduled we're gonna be leaving we're gonna go stop in hawaii briefly make our way to australia do some training eventually get over to djibouti africa on our way back, we were gonna spend Christmas like in the Seychelles. And yeah, I was like, oh, that would be rad. Do a bunch of snorkeling, maybe some scuba diving, have this water housing for my camera, it'd be great. And then we were supposed to, I think, hit Thailand on the way back also. But at any rate, he ended up making me this water housing for my camera. And footage pretty much goes like watching through the old tapes, steps right into the last night in the barracks. All right, dude. <laughs> All right, bull. Like what do you see, for, uh, or force you rather, for float, bull? This, hey, just, hey, that's Recon Ricky right there. He's talking to you. Recon, Show some yeah. respect. Yeah, hey, look, right there. I'm looking not forward better. to it. It's gonna be exciting. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's like doing an interview. Bro, I don't want to be like a jerk in front of him. Uh, he's gonna say a dig for you. One day you'll be jerk. running some pop, pop okay. politics, new language, and, and something I just did will pop up. <laughs> You can't do this. He just films his ass. You think you really care about the man? I'm going to be a pop. This isn't working. Yo, what's up, pop? What do you expect out of float? What do I expect out of float? Our shit's going to Mind you, this is Bravo Company. Yeah. Well, it's going to break down a lot, the ship. So we will need to leave Hawaii, hopefully. Then if we do, once we get somewhere and we have to do something, we got to... All right, we don't need the whole lowdown. He said, what do you expect out of float? It's going to be a gaggle fuck, I just said. Dude, I expect six days of libo. Like, That's uh, the beer speed. Second, Broke down ships like, and like gaggle two fuck one. missions. He, Six he days can't, level. He can't hold his beer like some people. Did you count them? Did you count them? Look at the bomb. I'm counting some of my folks. Bunch of drunk That's people. Sales, I, guess, I just spiked my head. I want to fuck her. Alright, point it to the side. Spike it. Oh, heck yeah, I did that one time. Like a rat tail. Oh, we're talking about the different clues. We're talking about the different clues. The king of style. This is uh, turning into the pre float video. Oh, yeah. So everyone can express uh, how wonderful they think it's going to be. Express how wonderful the <laughs> album is? Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Bravo. Maybe I show this to you. been here too fucking long. Uh, yeah. It'll just be one big long bleep. <laughs> we're talking about the uh, clothes that were styled back in the fucking early 80s. And yeah, like always the cabaret shoes. Like jams. Jams. Beagle Boys. Skids. Use. Jabos. Guess. Beagle Boys. That's an elementary school, but everyone wore like a long sleeve, fucking button up polo shirt. Like, it, it was all like hot pink. Like, so, McGuire? <laughs> McGuire. I saw it. What do you, uh, what do you foresee for this year's float? A lot of sleep. A 
lot of sleep and uh, not a lot of classes. Nice. How about you, Brewer? How about Brewer what? Oh, I'm kind of being drunk in every He's going to be able to tell a little. Drunken yeah. gym sleep. Yeah. That's right, you are going to be gone for the, the king. The the S2. S2. Nice. Turn your yeah. lights right. off, fucker. A sick trip with a lot of little bitch. Yeah. Coming back two weeks later, going home for good. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Corporal Knox. Hey, what's with you guys on Ryan, man? No, I never saw How you doing, man? <laughs> what's up? This is the, this is the pre-float video right here. Oh, okay. So, uh, what do you foresee? You know what? I just ironed out all loose ends. <laughs> really? That's good to go. Actually, ex-wife just found out. And, uh, <laughs> one, one of <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't. A friend of mine. Oh, all kinds of shit. He mowed down oh, the oh, 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 Especially yeah. stepping off on something like this. Yeah. You need to have a time for his family. Cool. He's done with killing. And, uh, and, uh, and I did. They were, so, they were in a fucking mafia crossfire. Feeling good, feeling you know, good sergeant. Good shit. What do you foresee for this float? Uh, I think I truly believe that if you want to see some type of conflict, he has no secret yes. powers. It's going to be humanitarian or uh, you know, Neo, which which is humanitarian. Yeah. Uh, but you know, to be more specific, hey, that's all he has, I, I truly man. believe that's what we're going to be doing. You know, Spider-Man saves and people. Uh, Captain what that means no, to me, no. we have a lot kill. of media. What, what There's going to be a lot of training. Uh, uh, God damn, man. Um, you don't care. Well, his whole family's gone. It's gone. That's, that's well, the thing. You know, it, it'll be interesting, gone. but also, Hard. also Hard. difficult. Hard. And I just remember that. Oh, it was a green house. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're like a little kid. Troublesome. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Hey man, that's why, that's why we're here. One of the small things that we have. Good deal. That is incriminating. Oh, good. Fuck you. Don't worry, it's just a little pre float video. What do you foresee for this float? I see uh, problems or whatnot. God's will, or God's will, a lot of rack time. Mono, not a lot of fucking training. Quarantine. God's will, I don't know. Creek don't rise. Do you know what a bad hangover that shit is, man? What? It's this? gonna be like one of the worst hangovers, dude. Dude, that's what? a four dollar. Oh, hey, I haven't got that's, a hangover from that's it motivation yet. That's motivation right there, because you know we're packing really? on the ship tomorrow. So wow. Wow. Is that all you're drinking? Like, hey, you know what we go to war every ten years? Nah, what's that? that? When the economy starts going down a little bit. It already has. Yeah, see, we start going. We go to war to fucking bring it back up. Okay. Dave! Hey, that's, Dave a, that's a four dollar hangover. Tell right the there. story. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Happy birthday to to Santa Claus because it's Christmas. Tuesday. So is it a good last night in the barracks? Oh, it's nice. I went to a softball game and a birthday party where there's pink camels, bowling balls, and lots of spoons. Sounds like the fixings for a good party. It was nice. You uh, have any any expectations for float or anything? Oh uh, yes, actually. Uh, I fully expect it to rain lots of times. Um, I should see the color purple quite often. Um, I don't know, I might jump overboard once or twice a week, minimum. Uh, it should be probably about it. I'm sure there'll be lots of fights and uh, lots of sleep time. Lots of games for the first month or so. I'm pretty excited. As you should be. Yes, I'm very excited. Most of all, I'm excited about carrying all my gear down there tomorrow. Any closing statement? Uh, yes. Long live Charlton Heston. Little <laughs> mess, what's this? Where'd this come from? What's in her mouth? Right there. Right there. Get this on videotape. Did they throw this shit up here? I just touched it. Hold it up. Here, watch. Oh dear God. My name's You Green. can see something goes right through the fucking thing. Look, there's a hole in her bum. Like this. Ew. Look, it's white right there, dude. You gonna mount it or what? What is it? <laughs> Look. I don't want to venture a is guess. It, is it like a pocket vagina? Does it stretch? Was it up here? Did they throw it up? I didn't see it, dude. I think that really is a. What's that, dude? 
I did, look. It's like a pocket pussy of some sort. Pocket? <laughs> Your shit can't fit in that. I don't know, I just looked at it. Touch it. <laughs> okay. You seen the H bar? No. It's queer. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Probably shove it up your ass. the white stuff, white stuff on the bottom. What's the white shit on the ass? It looks like bubbles in there. <laughs> bubbles. Yeah. That's a tight ass pocket. Hey, someone's been fucking that, dude. They're a dirty fucker. That's all I gotta say there. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was on the balcony outside of Bull's door. Shut up. I swear to God, it was right there. I was happy with that. it was. Look at her too. I bet those dudes threw it up. It's those chicks, they just it's came two up. Two little miniature spots. Did they? Yeah. Were they up here? Uh, they just pulled up in their car. She dirty little I'll go at him. I'm gonna chuck this in the parking lot. No, dude, throw him someone's bag. Tomorrow when he sneaks it here, I doubt tell them to put it in their bag. You know what I'm saying? Oh my, I like to buy new pizza, dude. Shit's hot! Like 10 o'clock Thursday night, the 9th of August, I guess. Night before we take off for float. Looking forward to it, should be a good time. I don't know, hopefully, I'll learn to play the guitar, at least a couple good riffs and stuff like that. Uh, should be entertaining just watching the stupidity around me, but should be good all in all. Ultimately, that was the last night in our barracks down at Camp Horno. Part two will pick up where this left off, basically the next morning, getting everything, getting down to like the parade deck, loading up, heading to ship, all the rest of it. Why is it taking me so long to bring out these float tapes? I was originally going to do this back in, like, would have been 02, I guess, when we got back. And a lot has happened since then. Initially ended up handing off all the tapes. There's like 19 of them, like basically good solid 19 hours worth of footage from the entire experience. And it was overwhelming for me at the time. And a friend of a friend actually worked in Hollywood, did a bunch of stuff with respect to film editing. Handed off the tapes, basically lost track of them. Lost track of them over the last as of filming this, about 18 years. Finally, I ended up finding them. They're all sitting there in the Ziploc bag and took all the bags out. Fortunately, like none of the tape had been like totally degraded or destroyed and basically pulled them off, all these little Sony mini DV tapes, pulled them off onto my hard drives. And at this point, I'm gonna finally actually come full circle and get this thing edited together. Ultimately, when I'm done with it, as far as when I'm done with like kind of all the tapes, I will probably upload them in their entirety, like hour long blocks, because there's a lot of stuff that get cut out. But for people that were there, they might be there. And honestly, some of those people may no longer be with us. So to that end, almost kind of as a memorial. But this will be part one and uh, yeah, slowly chip away at it and get through the entire deployment. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Oh my God. I know. Okay. I've so been drinking a little bit tonight. That's all right. It shouldn't in inhibit your uh, playing abilities. Most people have, seeing as how it's the last night in the barracks. So am I starting over? Uh, yeah, we're going to go for your pre-deployment uh, pre jam, which will be... D by Randy Rhodes. Very well.
Good shit. What do you see going on for this float? Any expectations, hopes? A lot of, a lot of guitar teaching. Hell yeah, dude. A lot, yeah, not very much little, but by the time we have off, I'm gonna be teaching a lot of guitar. Good shit. Thank you.